Who is it that you really want to be? In this episode, we're going to discuss that. Welcome to this episode of the Limitation is a Mirage podcast. So who is it that you want to be? Whenever we're kids, we grow up thinking that we want to be Jean-Claude Van Damme or I want to be Jackie Chan, I want her to be Rocky, I want her to be Hulk Hogan, I want her to be the Ultimate Warrior, I want her to be Shawn Michaels for a while. Didn't really want to be Bruce of our Beefcake, but I thought it was quite cool. Like When we're younger, we see everyone that inspires us in some way, and then we decide that that's who we want to be, and that's how we want to live our life. But then as we get older, we don't. people don't seem to have a clue. People come to me and they tell me they want to change their life, and I ask them a few questions, like, what, what would you like your life to look like? How would you like to change your life? What, what's the plan here? And usually they just say something like, I want to feel better. I want to look different. I want to just be happier. And you're like, well, you need to narrow that down a wee bit more. So like looking better, does that mean you want to put on muscle? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to fix your hair? Do you want to grow a beard? Like what, what does that mean? Do you want to buy better clothes? Like what does looking better mean to you? Whenever you look up to someone as a kid, we only see the best part of them. Like everybody wants to be Van Damme because he does the Van Damme kick and it looks awesome. And then you practice it or a karate kid. I remember whenever we were younger, we wanted to be karate kid. And I allowed Sean to do the karate kid kick to me to see if it would work because we thought it was stupid in the movie and it shouldn't work. And he hit me right up the chin and threw me right over the sofa. So it worked perfectly well. So well done, Daniel LaRusso. But that, that's what we wanted to be. We watched that. We mimicked it. We did it. And then as I got older, I started to think, why do I keep trying to be all these people? I try to be especially characters in, in films and movies rather than thinking about who I am and what do I want to be for myself. So why do I want to be a martial artist? Why do I want to be a magician? Why do I want to help people? What, what, what is my goal? And even when I got into the help people space, I started watching people like Tony Robbins and thought, that's what I want to do. I want to run around on stage and be super hyped and pumped the whole time. And then I realized that's just not me. I'm not someone that runs around super hyped and pumped. And certain certain times I will be, but it's not a constant. And I don't want to fake it and, and pretend that that's me. So I started to look at myself and, and who I actually want to be, what I want to look like. Do I, do I want to look like someone who could actually um, go, that actually goes to the gym? Do I want to look like someone that could be on stage and should be on stage? Do I want to walk around on stage with my head down? Or do I want to learn how to stand taller and prouder? So I started to look at myself to see who I wanted to be because everyone else is taken. It's just a, it's a simple statement, but whenever you look towards someone and you try to be them, you're, you're never going to get there. You're at most, you're going to be a bad version of them. And at the least you're just going to feel, and it's really going to affect you emotionally and mentally. So when people come to me with goals and dreams and they normally say like, I want to look like this guy, or I want to feel like the, this guy, even like, how do you know what somebody feels like? I try to get them to flip it around. What, what would it be if you could just click your fingers and you could be or do whatever you wanted? What would you be or do? How would you look? How would you feel? What would life be like for you? Like if you won a million pounds, would your life be sorted or would it just add more hassle to your life? Like what is it that you want to, to be in life? Who do you want to be? So look at, the easiest way to do it is look at the people that you wanted to be. So I wanted to be Jackie Chan, so I learned martial arts. I wanted to be Rocky, so I learned how to skip. And that was the only reason I ever learned to skip was because Rocky could skip and he could do it. And I wanted to be able to do those. So that's that's I took them sort of the ideas of, of what attracted me to these characters in the first place and started to incorporate that into my life. So I made myself take wee bits and pieces of everything that I liked about these people and try to create that for myself. So whenever I started to look into writing a book, I started to read more authors that that interest, had an interest in what I had interest in so I could see what it was like. And then I started to speak with Ian and he taught me a few different things to do. And it got me to think about writing completely different. So the book I originally planned was nowhere near as good as the book I ended up with because I learned and I, I took from different areas and made myself better. And that's what I try to do with everyone that comes to me, everyone that watches the podcast, listens to me in general. If you chase someone else's life, so if that is if you look up to Rocky and you want to be Rocky, you're never going to get there, so you're, you're setting yourself up for failure. But if you looked at Rocky's life and it was the crossovers and skip and that's what attracted you to it, or it was his work, work ethic whenever it came to his training or whatever it was that attracted you, and you started to implement that into your lifestyle, and then you can look at other people. So you might look at someone who's 
Like I looked at people that were a lot healthier than me lifestyle wise, so I started to watch their lifestyle. They eat better, they don't eat a load of shit, they they sleep better, they um, look after themselves, they read, they get out in nature. So I started doing that. Now I look at all the martial arts um, masters that had survived to late age and they could still move well. Like one of the masters I met looked like he just floated along the ground. So I watched him, I asked him, I questioned him, what is it that he does differently from what I'm doing so that I can get to the point where I look like I'm floating. And meditation was the only thing I could take from, he was very passionate about meditation. So that's what I started to do. I started to meditate as well. I took a wee while for me to get real serious about meditation, but at the start, he was the reason. So rather than trying to live like him, like he still smoked the pipe and drank a few beers, but when I got up to the the mat or, and, and the dojo, the training, where, wherever you wanted to be, he just glided along the floor. So I took the aspect of him that I really liked and, and admired and brought that into my life as well. So now when I look back, I can see all of the wee avenues that I was going on where I could have just stayed and in in wanting to be Jackie Chan, but instead I took the martial arts and went somewhere else. And then when I started to do magic, I wanted to be Darren Brown, so I went that way, and then I realized that there's some other things that I like that he doesn't do, so I steered myself away. I took, I'm taking what I like and, and what inspires me from everyone else so that I can create the best version of me possible. So... Basically, what I'm trying to get across to you is whenever you think about changing your life, you want to you want to make the changes for you, not for anybody else. But also, you want to change you, not chase somebody else. So whenever you're changing your life, you can look at someone and be inspired. Like, that guy's super fit, super healthy. I want to be him. Don't try to live his lifestyle. Take the pets that are going to fit into your lifestyle and then incorporate them and then add more and then incorporate that and then add more. And then eventually, you'll look back six months later and you'll be a completely different place than you were when you started. So ask yourself the question, who do you want to be? What do you want to look like? What do you like? What would that look like? What would it feel like? Really get into it. The more you visualize that and get that into your mind, the easier it is to obtain. Because rather than setting yourself up for failure, trying to be something else, you're setting yourself up for a win by aiming uh, towards what, what you want to be. But more importantly than that, than just visualizing it, is actually having a set so you know, like, you know where you're going. A lot of people don't know. Like if I said to you, what is happiness to you? You might find it difficult to answer that question. So you set. So whenever you set your, your sight on the path, you can visualize it. You can see yourself there. You feel it. You see it. You smell it. You hear it. Every ounce of you is in that future version of you. And then you just start to build towards it. And what might happen, like it happened numerous times in my life, I got really close to it and realized that's not actually what I want and I detoured and went for another way. So I think about it like when I was on that boat journey, I was tacking because there was no wind, but I was still moving forward and I was still going to where I wanted to be. So that that's happened in my life. I became better and then I realized that that's not what I wanted. So I went another direction and got better and I just constantly try to do that with my life. But the main thing is I'm never trying to be someone else because everyone's taken it. So thanks again for tuning in. Please let me know if you have any questions or just what you think about um, yourself moving forward. Has this helped you in any way to understand what it's like to set a goal and then move towards that goal to make a change in your life? Uh, I would love to hear from you. You can DM me. You can put it in the comments below or whatever. And if you want to keep up to date, just like and subscribe and hit all the buttons that help my channel grow. Um, I'm aiming for a 1,000 followers, so that would be awesome if you just brought me that way as well. So until then, have an amazing day, whatever you get up to, and I'll speak to you again soon.